welcome back we are moving on to hormones the last chapter in your syllabus all of you have heard about hormones we have plenty of hormones in our body this is the opening picture what you see here are actually the different endocrine glands of the body which are responsible for the production of hormones this is a syllabus we need to classify the hormones based on their chemical nature and also based on their mechanism of action then the site of biosynthesis then important physiological functions of these many hormones actually the different activities of the body are coordinated by different types of chemical messenger systems chemical compounds produced in different parts of the body they are never taken from outside the body in the nature actually and in the body they cause uh, a lot of chemical reactions or changes inside the cell and also outside the cell some of these messengers are neurotransmitters they are released from the axon terminals of the neurons into the synaptic junctions this is used for the control of nerve cell functions then you have the endocrine hormones produced by the endocrine glands and released into the circulating blood they bind with the target cell and this causes a lot of changes inside the cell actually then we have the neuroendocrine hormones which are secreted by neurons into the circulation and they influence the function of cells at some other part of the body then you have the paracrines secreted by the cells into the extracellular fluid and they affect the neighboring cells not the same cells which are producing them then you have the autocrines secreted by cells into the extracellular fluid and these autocrines affect the function of the same cells that produce them by binding to a surface receptor then you have cytokines they are peptides secreted by the cells into the extracellular fluid and can function as autocrine sometimes paracrine or even endocrine hormones examples are interleukins and other lymphokines they are actually secreted as part of the immune system of the body and also you have the leptin a cytokine hormone a cytokine hormone leptin produced by adipocytes actually they are also called adipokines so these are the different messengers of the body chemical messengers of the body of this in this chapter we are giving prominence to the to the endocrine hormones we give importance to the endocrine hormones in this chapter while others sometimes may be slightly mentioned along with this endocrine hormones okay this is a diagrammatic representation of what i told you just now you see this is the blood circulation here the endocrine glands are there they release their product into the circulation and these endocrine hormones are traveling in the blood supply to different or all parts of the body and whenever they are reaching a cell where the receptor is there these hormones bind with that receptor and that will cause a lot of changes inside the body so you see the hormones can come out of the blood vessel into the extracellular fluid and then into the membrane of the cell so these are the endocrine systems what about paracrine this is a cell this is a different cell this is acting actually a paracrine gland a paracrine cell 
the chemical messenger produced by that cell is binding to the receptor of nearby cell not the same cell this is what is called a paracrine system paracrine signals what about autocrine signals a cell is producing a messenger the messenger is released into the extra cellular fluid and from the extra cellular fluid the messenger is binding with the receptor on the surface of the same cell which produced it so this is the autocrine signaling system so i told you endocrine hormones are carried by the circulation and some of the endocrine hormones or simply say hormones have many different effects on different parts of the body a good example is growth hormone it is there in the syllabus growth hormone is produced by the anterior pituitary and it causes growth in most parts of the body what about another example thyroxin thyroxin is actually the thyroid hormone produced from the thyroid gland it is increasing the rate of chemical reactions in almost all cells of the body so there is no specific area where they are acting this is one type of hormonal action there is another type of hormonal action here this hormone affect only specific target tissues why only these tissues are having a specific receptor for that hormone a good example is adrenocorticotropic hormone acth produced from the anterior pituitary it is specifically stimulating the adrenal cortex causing the secretion of adrenocortical hormones and another one ovarian hormones they specifically affect the female sex organs as well as the secondary sexual characters of the body so these are all very specific in activity which are the different endocrine glands in your body you know hypothalamus is the master gland actually then we have the pituitary and the pineal also coming down we have the thyroid gland and surrounding them we have the parathyroids here we have the thymus and then we have the pancreas is there here kidney is there kidney is not a gland but just above the kidney we have adrenal gland and then we have the ovaries in the females and the testis in the males so ovary in the female testis in the male remember others are not actually glands so these are the different glands in your body and there are three general classes of hormones hormones may be classified into three based on their chemical nature which are the proteins and polypeptides proteins and polypeptides are produced by anterior pituitary sometimes secreted by posterior pituitary and from the pancreas we have the insulin and glucagon and from the parathyroid hormones we have the parathyroid hormone i mean from the parathyroid gland we have the parathyroid hormone all these are actually examples for uh, uh, proteinaceous hormones more are there in a table this there in the slide second category of uh, hormones are actually steroids secreted by the adrenal cortex ovaries testis and placenta so steroid hormones are produced by adrenal cortex ovaries testis and placenta and these are there given there from the adrenal cortex we have cortisol and aldosterone or we say corticosteroids from the ovaries we have estrogen and progesterone female sex hormones from the testis we have testosterone male sex hormone and from the placenta we have estrogen and also progesterone a third category of hormones based on their chemical nature is derivative of the amino acid tyrosine 
and they are actually thyroid hormones. Thyroxin is a thyroid hormone. It is giving rise to another more potent one, triiodothyronine. So, thyroxin and triiodothyronine are examples of amino acid derivatives. And another type of such hormone is there. They are the epinephrine and norepinephrine. Or we also call them adrenaline and noradrenaline. Adrenaline and noradrenaline. These are actually the hormones produced from the adrenal medulla. Okay. So, there are three types of hormones based on their chemical nature. This is a table. The glands are given there. The hormones also are given there. You see they are described in different chapters of the textbook from which I took this figure. Can you imagine which is the textbook? I have given that textbook to you already. And the major function of the hormone and the chemical nature of the hormone. Everything is given here in this table and in this table. So go through them very carefully and you find out the textbook from which I took this table and read more and make no more notes on it. And now we are going to the mechanisms of the activity of the hormones. Mechanism of activity of hormones in the next slide.